Hey, amazing people. I'm Shaman Dejanay. How are y'all? How are y'all? I ask this because it's heavy energy in the world, y'all. It's heavy energy. A lot of people are being spiritually attacked. They're experiencing spiritual warfare, including myself, and it's a level of intensity. And I channeled about this one in my 2023 A Year of Chaos messages, but also when I did the for the winter messages, I almost said fall, but for the winter, and I was really emphasizing the energies of May. And I'm recording these messages, well, this message, and really they have, they have several messages, but on Tuesday, May 30th, 2023, and this is for the summer 2023 messages channeled from the divine council i want to emphasize trigger warning serious energy i am talking about and channeling about the world's energy the serious energy within the world and pretty much the things that are going on it's triggering it's chaotic 2023 is the year of chaos and you are experiencing and picking up on the energy it's very serious it's very intense and what i've been downloading and getting it's been um yeah Again, trigger warning, serious energy. I usually record my for the fall, June 2023, and like energies like that straight through. So I'm going to record straight through. I'm going to try to not have to stop or end at any time and just go straight through the messages. So again, I'm recording these messages for the summer 2023 on Tuesday, May 30th, 2023. And these for the summer energy is going to touch base a little bit in the introduction talking about the May 2023 energies, which you've been picking up on. We're going to talk about June 2023 energies and July 2023 energies and August 2023 energies. It may touch base in the September 2023 energies, but, you know, I'm channeling. So whatever's meant to be said, it will be said. Again, I want to emphasize trigger warning serious energy because this is very triggering and very intense energy. Because Earth and humanity is currently shifting. There's a lot going on and we're picking up on it. You've been seeing it. Two, two, two on the time. But I've said this and channeled this several times and I will continue to say this. 2022 was a year of change. 2023 is a year of chaos. That's the year we're currently going in. Loki has been given free reign. 2024 is systematic. And there's this big energy that I want to emphasize to people it, that's happening in this chaotic year. 2023 right now all this chaotic things that we're seeing come into place we're getting glimpses into and you're like how is this going to pan out well 2024 next year is a systematic year 2023 is building building up to the energy of 2024 and we're going to start seeing the system change and the shifts and the energies and picking up on it and we're going to be affected and impacted it's going to be more noticeable then i channel that and i picked up on that several times before and they want me to emphasize what you're seeing. The changes that are occurring now are picking up for that systematic year that is 2024. So we're seeing currency change. In the U.S., they're trying to go to digital currency. You're also seeing that they're trying to make the U.S. dollar not the reserve anymore. Those are big energies that are picking up. They're seeing the financial institutions 333 on the time having those shifts and changes that many seers and oracles, people that are connected, have been getting that message that it was going to happen, including me. You're seeing all these things. You're seeing a lot of the peak chaotic energy. Sorry. So there's a net. And I was going to say, if you don't know, for me personally, I don't have any food in my house at this moment. So the gnat just randomly appeared. And for me, when I see gnats, gnats are always a sign of somebody listening and negative energies and forces trying to mess with me. Hence why I cut my finger while cooking and I've been getting really intense spiritual attacks throughout this week. And that nosy energy of the gnats, of the flies, of the bugs and stuff that are just trying to pinpoint and be at you are, are, are intense. And this is picking up on this energy. And this is picking up, sorry, my mind went blank. And this is really picking up on the energy that we're going to be experiencing throughout the summer. <sighs> Because it's a period, and I've emphasized that May 2023, 444 in the time, was a period that we were going to have intense portals opening up where us spiritual workers, light workers, star seeds, people here to do spiritual work, we're going to be feeling the energies and the spiritual warfare is going to come out. We were going to have a lot of negative energies open up and 
and come through in this portal attacking us. And we're gonna have an intensity during this time. This is what's currently happening, what I was currently experiencing. Honestly, I I was planning to record these messages yesterday, which was Monday the 29th, and my energy shifted and I had to reground myself and get myself in a place to record these today. And I'm recording these messages at like 6.45. I started preparing around 6.30 to do so, p.m. And it's like, I had to get myself grounded to do so. Because that gnat energy, those spiritual attacks, that spiritual warfare, things draining my energy is a really big thing. So what my spiritual team has been emphasizing to me, hopefully I can kill it because it's annoying me. What my spiritual team has been emphasizing to me is the need for me to ground myself. So practice grounding. Well, they told me to practice patience, but be grounded. And in that energy of being grounded, it's extremely important for you to do so and for you to be so because if you're picking up on heavy energy and the heavy energy within the world, it's an intense time. That's intense energy. There's intensity surrounding that. And earth, nature, we are all connected to it. And earth literally helps cleanse your energy and pick it up. Like for me and my energy, that's, by the way, if you've seen the smoke, that is literally just an incense burning. And that's how I ground myself, by connecting to nature. Also, by connecting to nature, you're able to pick up on what's going on. For me, I channel Gaia, the nature spirits, and the elements, and they give me a lot of insights and clarity, which a lot of people can also do. So it's important to connect to, connect to nature, ground yourself, and see what nature has to say. It's giving you answers, it's giving you confirmation, plus it will cleanse and cleanse your energy and help you feel grounded. Nature is a natural grounding. I was going to say element, but elements, because all in all elements, they can help you depending on which one you're connected to. But this energy is intense. The energy is things don't want you to be, be productive. Like for me, I had to get to a place where I was willing to record. I had to ground myself and pick my energy up to be in a place where I'm in the where I'm recording for this, I don't know, probably over an hour because these messages are pretty long energy. Um, so when I was debating on what I wanted to name this, I decided to just do June 2020, I say June, that's when I'm gonna record those tomorrow. But what I was gonna say, what I decided to name it is for the summer messages, 2023. Channel messages from the divine council with flames. I decided not to like name it like I normally would name it, but the overall energy that they were telling me about and they being my spiritual team, the divine council was chaotic energy intensifies, chaotic energy breaking out. It's organized chaos, even though you're thinking that it's going to be disorganized. Organized chaos, even though you're thinking it's going to be disorganized. When I'm being told to emphasize in this energy of the organized chaos, it's so chaotic that you feel like it's just disorganized, but honestly, it's all intentional. And a big theme that I was told for the, and when I did my 2023 year of chaos messages, the longer ones, was that everything that was happening now has been planned. From the divine council, divine intervention energy, from the star seeds, from the galactic federation, from archangels, from um, gods, goddesses, and deities, which is the divine council, and our ancestors are aware. So if you're connected to your ancestors, ask, spirit guides are aware. It's a collective energy from this different spiritual planes to different realms to different dimensions. And they are all aware of what's going on. There is no if, answer, buts about it. So if you are connected to your spiritual team, they can give you confirmation. So you should confirm it. Thank you. I want to emphasize it is organized chaos that is so chaotic that it's going to seem disorganized. But it's really pieces being played and things coming to light. 911 on the time. And I've been seeing 911 a lot, so. Okay. So, in that energy, I'm going to start focusing on. I'm going to start focusing on June 2023 now. So if you see me like go down and type, it's because I'm trying to keep timestamps and I try to do that every time I record my messages straight through for I can have timestamps in the pinned description, um, pinned comment in description, June 2023. Loki, you're picking up on it. You're picking up on the spiritual warfare. 
And it's intense. But the beautiful energy of that is June 2023 is a turning point for many of you. The spiritual workers, the light workers, the woke, the chosen. So you're going to feel an intensity for this first one to two weeks throughout June. You're going to really feel the spiritual attacks. You're going to feel down. You're going to have to ground yourself. You're going to have to be in a place where you are okay with being a little chaotic. That's the energy that's intense. That's the energy that is serious. That's the energy that people need to be paying attention to. That is the chaotic energy within the world. The turning point for many of the spiritual workers, where you're gonna get a breakthrough, where you're gonna be able to see the light and it's gonna start showing in the physical planes, will be around mid-June. And mid-June is when you're gonna have that breakthrough, when you're gonna be able to ground yourself a little bit better, and where you're gonna be able to combat it because your physical life and the things you're going through in the physical planes are gonna start being left, lifted. They're gonna get lighter. And as that, let, that lighter energy happens and the lifting happens, the things that the negative energies and forces are using against you that are making you feel ungrounded, making you feel hopeless, are not going to be there as much. And when they're not there, they're going to try to attack you in different ways. So this energy where many of you are suffering in the physical planes, where you're trying to get together, get things together and try very, very hard, will start showing and taking root around mid-June. So persevere, endure, do what you need to do to make that breakthrough around mid-June happen. And know that you're getting spiritually attacked. Discern the negative energies and forces and be aware of what's going on. If you are getting spiritually attacked and you are going through certain things and energy, it's important for you to realize why you would be getting attacked specifically. Because you are important. Your essence, your purpose, your alignment, you doing what you're meant to do is important. So the negative energy, those darker forces don't want you to do that. So they're attacking you. Endure. Ground your energy. Connect to your spiritual team. And do what you need to do. Low key. So there's this energy, right? That you need to do what you need to do. And I say this um, because I'm in this energy too. And I say this with like so much seriousness. Because when I don't feel grounded, it's very hard for me personally to be in a better space. And when I'm not in the best space, it's not the easiest thing for me to ground my energy, to record, to get to a place where I am being productive in the ways that I'm meant to be productive. And for me, that is channeling the messages from the Divine Council, from the Galactic Federation, from ancestors, from spirit guides, from archangels, and doing what I'm divinely inspired to do and, cre and create. And product productivity is important. It's like, I just want to break them. This is something I personally argue with my spiritual team. You're not supposed to argue with your spiritual team. I'm stubborn. Don't do it. But when I get mad and I get frustrated and I have my breakdowns and I'm going through a lot mentally, I get very, very angry and I'm like, well, all I want is a breakthrough and I'm struggling to exist. And I don't like to struggle to exist, by the way. It's one of those things that I'm working through as my shamanic journey, shadow and ego, I guess. I don't know if it's an ego, but I think, I think it's an ego and the darker and energies and aspects because the intensity of what I'm going through is very serious. I cut my finger. I did my egg cleanse. Like I usually do one monthly. And in my egg cleanse, there were three red spots. And it was the most intense I've ever seen my egg. Like the yolk and the water and stuff. Showing the intensity of me being spiritually attacked. And something trying to seriously hurt me. And I cut my finger really bad, y'all. It wasn't like no little, no, it's bad, bad. And I'm like, okay, well, help me be in a better space so I don't have to go through the things and to protect myself and not to deal with this. And they're like, not giving me my breakthrough still. And then it pisses me off because it makes me not want to be productive because I don't feel loved or protected. 1444, and then my spiritual team irritates me to be like, you are being loved and protected. You need to see this, be more grateful. 
So I don't know why I would like to share that, but it's probably because you could be dealing with something similar because our spiritual team wants, wants us to know and be aware that we're always loved and protected. We need to be grateful and that they're always around us. No matter what hard things we're going through, and maybe sometimes we don't understand, or if you're like me, you get, may get to a point of understanding or you know certain things, but it doesn't make you happy that you know, because it's still not helping you. Again, I'm stubborn. But Loki was emphasizing this energy that we are coming into a breakthrough. Loki's like, you have to let the breakthrough happen and occur. So like for me, it is continuing to record. For me, it's this energy of recording. It's my the energy of channeling. It's the energy of teaching my courses, which I'm going back to start teaching next Monday. I gave myself a break. It's the energy of being aligned with my purpose and being a light. But if I don't post or create or teach courses, I'm not going to have that breakthrough of being a spiritual teacher and my purpose of being an educator or as a spiritual influencer because I'm not doing doing the effort or putting the work in. 1555 was on the time. So the change is happening, but you have to endure it to put in the work to make the change occur, even if you feel it in your energetic field like I do. It's serious. Um, I'm going to sip some tea that I'm a channel Gaia. Gaia, pay attention to what's going on. On the earthly planes, from natural disasters, from human rights issues, from flooding to fires, to intense heat, to wind storms and natural disaster elements. In June 2023, that will be a cause of concern. It's a cause of concern because I am cleansing myself and we are in a period where earth is shifting. Humanity is shifting too. But there's this energy of combativeness where a lot of things are getting are rising in prices, including the prices of homes, of basic necessities that should not be an issue. And as things rise, as inflation increases, and as greed is a main factor of concern, there will continue to be natural disasters. There will continue to be issues related to human rights and human survival. On our, the Divine Council, God's Goddesses and Deity side, to make matters worse, that is intensified by the fact that human error, human factors, and human contributions are happening and occurring to make it worse. So as, as humans are being greedy, and as these things are being are happening that are human-made, human-made errors, human-made greed, human cost of living, which is a factor that you made up in money and institutions and all these things of control, as they rise, the natural disasters will rise until it comes to a head when things start to go down. So there's going to be a period of intensity until it can't happen anymore, and it will cause a collapse. It will happen. So have faith and trust. That's one of the things we are telling Desjardin. Because she's like, the housing market's going to crash. She's picking up on it. And she's like, well, we're guiding her because she's coming into this new abundance. And she'll be at a place where she can buy a home. We're telling her, wait until it crashes. Take your time. Trust. Look and be aware. It's a lot of things going on throughout the world that are reflective of, of each other's energy. And in June 2023, you're going to see a lot of scarceness related to human rights, human survival, inflation, natural disasters, both naturally, which are more so things that are in natural cycles and natural cycles and the earth, but not really in the natural cycles that naturally occurs. And things that are man-made errors that are going to cause the scarcity and the price to increase and people to feel a little overwhelmed. Gaia. Ooh. Oh, now it's weird. Okay, a little better. So, eventually that's going to change the lighting. Because I have the blinds open, but it's going down or it's, it's changing. So this energy is intense. It's beautiful. It's the energy of what Gaia said. It's an energy of things coming together. But patience is required. 
And you may be like, that can sound beautiful, but listen, this is why I'm explaining this. There's a head and we're going through the hard times, the things we have to endure right now. That is what Gaia is emphasizing, 20 zero zeros one time. Gaia is like, you have to endure this right now. You have to put up with this right now as things are at a head. So I focused my energy and I was tapping into when the, cra um, the housing market would crash because I know it's crashing. And what I was told is there's a greed and there's a scarcity and things are going up in price and there's like basically a head. They were like, there's a heaviness, there's burdens and this keeps going up. So I randomly, cause I do, the, do this cause I'm a Gemini moon and I overthink and overanalyze stuff. Listen to the housing markets and seeing how it was going up in certain areas. Like in Nevada where I live, where I'm planning to move after this, which is Colorado. Um, cause I meant to, that's another life story. But, and there was a period in time where housing literally, a house that was like 250 grand went up to like 400 grand within a three month period. And when I saw that, I thought to myself, that's nothing but greed and that's impossible. And what I was, and what was emphasized to me is you're correct. And that's where we're butting heads because we, in America, I'm focusing on America. America is run like a corporation. It's the the corporations that matter. The people suffer a lot, um, suffer more. Corporations have better tax deductions. Corporations have their things forgetting, forgiven, like their loans and stuff. But when it came to student loans, they're trying to back, combat that and they have an issue with it. That's an example. And what they were telling me is like this scarcity, this burden, this heaviness is going to collapse. But, so they told me to endure it. And they're like, you're gonna see it collapse. But but what they really emphasized to me in this energy was, they're gonna try to make it not collapse as long as possible, which is why as the greed goes up, the um, natural disasters will too, which is causing, technically should cause values to go down in housing. And this is like combating energy of the divine intervention, of combating human greed and error. Um, yeah, it's really intense. But Gaia is saying that you have to endure and be patient. She's like, for me, I plan to own a home. I know my financial situation is shifting and changing. I'm waiting for it, but it's happening. But even in that energy of when I do decide to get a home, they're telling me to bite my time, take my time, because there's going to be a time when I should get in. That's when I should act and move. In June 2023, this energy that Gaia is emphasizing is that we're going to see the intensity of the natural disasters. We're gonna see the intensity of everything going on. We're gonna see the intensities of human error, human greed, cost of living, inflation, scarceness. And yeah, that was most definitely intense. So when I said that, they made the energy of the um, smoke from the incense go all the way over. I felt the heavy energy like they were emphasizing that because I felt it, it was really cool. Like, I mean, actually like cool, like it was cold energy. And it's not cold, I live in Vegas, it's not cold, it's hot, it's hot, you know, it's hot. Um, this is like, we're in this energy of an endurance. We're in this energy of racing. We're in an energy of, we're in this energy of endurance, we're in the energy of racing. We're in this energy of biding our time. And as we're biding our time, we have to wait. Because we know that things are changing. We know that things are shifting. And basically we know that the way that things have been running and maneuvering up until this point, and my candle just went off for a lot. Oh, my body just shut to confirm that. The way that things are happening and have been occurring up until this point is not, gonna work out anymore, basically. There's this energy of greed. There's an energy of suppression and oppression and an energy of repeating cycles and histories. That's a huge thing that I've been channeling about and other people have been channeling about. And if you know anything about history, you probably can pinpoint multiple ways of how we're repeating history. Seriously. And in this energy, as we are in this heaviness, this cycle, the changes, the shifts, and everything going on, a big energy of endurance for us that are waiting for the change. Earth and humanity is shifting. 
and from 2022 to 2025, that is that period where we are really enduring to see how it's going to happen or what's occurring. And basically from 20, 2026, but really in 2025 to see how the shifts are going to take us forward. A lot of people say the new earth theory, Dol Dolores Cannon, what she had like got from out from, I want to say hypnotizing people because she's a hypnotherapist of some sort. And that's what we're waiting on right now. And it's an endurance race because even though from 2022 to 2025, we're seeing a lot of things play out, but from 2025, 2026 onward, it's either that energy of repeating history or breaking free. And depending on the, the cycle that we're going into, that's still an endurance race because you'll be building from suppression and oppression, having to rebuild a system, or you're going back into dark ages and you still have to shine a light being the light worker that you are. It's intense and it's serious. Um, okay, sorry, I was thinking of what I wanted to do next. I was debating if I wanted to do another God, Goddess for Deity message, and they're like, no, not right now. We can do that when we go to July. We have Archangel. We have Archangel Gabriel. And in Archangel Gabriel's energy, we're going to focus on Gabriel. This is a time where communication is essential and also trying to be shunned. The negative forces, the darker forces don't want you to speak your voice, your truths, your downloads, your insights, what you know to be true when it comes to things going on. They don't want you to connect to each other. They don't want you to feel ground, grounded and connected to self for you to share and illuminate truths. And they don't want you to communicate to your spiritual teams. The darker negative forces are intense right now since the portal has opened up and they are attacking the spiritual workers, the light workers, the earth angels, the mystics, the star seeds, those of you that are here to do work. So the way they are attacking you is by trying to stun and stop your form of communication. They're trying to stop you from communicating to yourself, to your spiritual team, to others. They want you to not be grounded and productive. So this is a time that expression is extremely important, where communication is extremely important, where creativity and flowing is extremely important. You need to have your voice heard from your higher, higher self, your inner voice, from the voices that you may hear from your spiritual team, if you're a clear audience, the voices that you, the voice you're meant to share. It's a lot of things, a lot of energies going on right now that you need to communicate, which is why social media platforms that illuminate truths and tell people about what's going on are being spiritually attacked. That's why people have to endure. That's why this energy is heavy and intense and why so many things want you to not be aligned and do what you need to do. You have to endure. You have to speak. You have to communicate. You have to listen to yourself to your spiritual team, to other people, and really start to network and build a community and express yourself beautifully. It's a time for you to communicate. Gabriel. So Archangel Gabriel's in this energy that communication is extremely important right now. He's literally saying that you must communicate. You must communicate. Okay, so I'm back. I had to go change the blinds because it was annoying me. I did not want to have to break because now I'm going to have to put the video together, but it's okay. So what Archangel Gabriel is emphasizing to me that is, and for these energies for June 2023, a lot will be going on. And in the energy of a lot is going on, a lot that you need to be paying attention to. But, and I mean pay attention to as in from your own download, from your own visions, from your own insights, from your own energy as a whole. Communications from your spiritual team. Communications from your higher self, from your inner voice. From dreams, 
from maybe walking and just getting downloads and visions. You have to allow yourself to flow. So you have to be able to be in this energy of communication and receiving information and sharing the information. But also a big energy for that is that you're going to have to be able to communicate to other people and to listen and receive information of other people telling you what's going on. One of the most powerful resources we have is social media because in technology as a whole, because back in these days, People record things, they share things, they talk about what's going on, and we're able to network and reshare and help things, help bring awareness to things. And that is a powerful asset that we have, that we are fortunate enough to have attained and that we deserve. And in that energy, it's important that we know this. And as we know this, we have to be at a place, in a place where we utilize it. Because Archangel Gabriel is like, if we don't communicate, we won't be aware and we won't know. And a big part of what he's emphasizing in these energies is that it's extremely important that you are aware that things don't want you to communicate. So you're going to have things that make you doubt what you know. Maybe you are going to have to discern and utilize discernment because maybe your fear is going to speak over your intuition and you have to ground that energy. And things are going to want to make you not express yourself. I said in the introduction part of this message that I had to ground myself. I was trying to record these yesterday and then today I didn't start recording until like 6.30-ish p.m. to get the messages out. And I had to do that and ground my energy to even get myself to record these because I felt drained. But that's also a way that we're getting spiritually attacked. The negative energies and forces don't want me to share what's going on. So communication is important. And who... I don't know who you are, but however you're meant to communicate, communicate. For me, I do for the, um, so I do for the seasons, this is for the summer, and this energy always focuses on earth and humanity's energy. I also do like June energies, which I'm going to do tomorrow, and for like the star season and the divine council, talking about what's going on more intense. And in that energy, it's like, are you aware, are you being conscious of it? Then I talk about other things where I just focus on star seed energy or certain gods, goddesses, and deities messages, ancestral messages that I feel led to record and channel or archangel messages and maybe other stuff like higher selves when I get led to. But communication is important right now. It's key. It's essential. It's a key. It's essential. And as you know that it's essential and you're doing what you need to do, and you're thriving, you have to allow yourself to thrive. But they're going to try to attack you, and they are the negative energies and forces. I emphasize this, and I said this in my May 2023 energies. There was a portal that had opened up this month that let a lot of negative energies and forces out, and we're going to be feeling that intensity throughout the summer and the rest of this year, and it's building up until the systematic year. And again, June is right after May, and we're going to be feeling it. It's intense. Okay, so we'll have Michael next. You know what I realized when I got up to like change that? Now I have to kind of like estimate the time because there's two different times now, but that's okay. Michael. Both May and June 2023 is a period of war, of having to utilize your warrior energy and combat negative energies and forces. And in this energy, the negative energies and forces will try their best to try to make you feel off and to make you not be productive and do what you're meant to do, to not shine your light, to not be a light, to not share the messages, to not be aligned. This is warrior energy. It's a time for you to embrace being a warrior, to embrace being a leader and having to ground yourself and do what you need to do no matter what is happening in your physical environment. 
because quite often the way negative energies and forces want to combat you is by stressing you out about things in your physical because so many people go through physical financial issues. They mess with you in the ways that it hurts. That's how the energies and forces work. I'll use an example for Dejane. So she had a dream like a week ago. And in that dream, the, the negative energies and forces had her feed into her fear of not experiencing homelessness again. And then the dream, the energy is like, you're gonna be homeless and you're gonna deal with this. And it's like, well, you might as well call your aunt for you to move in with her and sleep on her couch and go to Sacramento. And then the way her natural mind works was like, well, I'm good for June, so why would I need to do that right now? And it was just feeding into the fear she has because she's angry with us, her spiritual team for not giving her a breakthrough and she's struggling to exist. But that's also where trust and surrender happens and having to being able to discern the fear and know what is true and know that things are attacking you. Because that was a spiritual attack based off of the fear she has. So as she has to embrace being a warrior, as she has to ground her energy for she can record and be productive and do what she needs to do, she can't let fear rule her. And that's the same for you. So whatever stresses or worries or things that you do not want to happen that may be on your mind, that is how you will be attacked. That is how the negative energies and forces attack people. So ground yourself. Be grounded so that your intuition, your inner voice, and your spiritual team can speak over the fear. Because in reality, you have nothing to fear. Things are happening. Things are shifting. There's a lot of beautiful energies occurring in your life. So fear not. Okay. Whew. So, interesting. Archangel Michael, you decided to share that. Um, Archangel Michael is emphasizing that you have to embrace being a warrior. 808 was on time now because I started over, but you really do need to embrace being a warrior, being a leader and making sure you are aligned, doing what you need to do in this energy of alignment to make sure you're thriving, to make sure you're productive and make sure fear isn't ruling your life. Because sometimes you shut down. Like for me, when I get overwhelmed and I overthink and I have a lot of things going on, I will shut down. I won't be as productive and I won't record as much as I should. And I get downloads and things that I want to do, like inspiration, like divine inspiration. But if I'm not motivated to record it or in the energy to record it, it doesn't happen. Like for me, when I channel and I record, I have to be in good energy because channeling takes a lot of my energy. It does. It's like second nature to me, but it's still have energetically very heavy. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. Sorry, I'm typing and I'm like, I have two more Archangel messages is what I was told. So, um, so we have Archangel Metatron. Metatron. In June, 2023, many of you will be reawakening and activating your knowledge. Knowledge of self. There's gonna be inner discovery self-discovery, and really ahas when it comes to who you are and what you're meant to do. You will discover a new layer, a layer that is needed for you to start diving deeper into and understanding. You will be divinely guided and nudged towards something. So be open to discovering, be open to the wisdom, be open to the energy. 
be open to receiving. What you will be discovering, reawakening, and activating is a key and foundation to who you are. And it's a directly aligned time for you to do so. It may be something you never even thought of, but you'll be nudged that way. It could be something new that you haven't that you're having to gain wisdom and insight on in the physical planes this incarnation because it's not really new to you because you're relearning it you're reawakening it you're activating it but it's a new concept at this moment in time be open to the energy of receiving be open to the energy of awakening it be open to the energy of allowing yourself to discover because the discovery is going to be beautiful. It's going to be magical. It's really going to be life-changing. Metatron. So Archangel Metatron is emphasizing this energy to me. That you're going to be discovering an aspect of yourself. Something beautiful that is meant for you to discover at this moment in time. It's something new to you, but not new to you. You're reawakening it. And it's going to be something that you may be caught off guard by, but something you probably pick up on naturally. Or you may have a natural incantation, inclination for it. And then maybe you can relate to incantations. Who knows? But Archangel Uriel wants to tap into that energy too, so... Uriel... You are wise, you are a light. Allow your wisdom to give you insight. But to do so, you have to ground your energy. To do so, you need to focus. To do so, you have to be open to receiving. You have to think of the big picture and not be weighed down by the details. You need to think of something bigger than just yourself. It's like why you'd be getting attacked, why your life may be so hard, because you're chosen. And those with divine purposes and a divine path don't have an easy walk, an easy route. Nothing comes really that easy. You struggle a lot. You have a lot of obstacles and challenges, especially during that foundational period as you awaken and come into self. But you are wise. So allow your wisdom to take you where you need to be. Allow your wisdom to help you go where you're meant to go and know what you're meant to know. Ground your energy and focus on what you need to know at this moment. Allow the answers to come to you so that your wisdom can give you insight. Uriel. So Archangel Uriel is really emphasizing this energy of allowing your wisdom to give you insight. But for your wisdom to give you insight, for you to be at a place where you are, you know, being insightful, it's required of you to be grounded, to allow yourself to be able to listen and to receive the information. Because your wisdom is going to give you insight and it's going to be beautiful. It's going to really feel like magic and second nature. It's something you already know. And it's coming full circle, full swing, and it's really beautiful. Galactic Federation, Star Seeds, it is your time. It is your time to reawaken. Not only who you are and what you're meant to do when it comes to your mission and your origin, but it's your time to reawaken your knowledge, your insights, your truths. And deeper than your truths, and they connect to your truths, the truths within the world. As earth and humanity shifts, the secrets and the mysteries of the world are starting to unravel. About mythical creatures, about the ancient histories, the philosophies, the extraterrestrials, the different gods, goddesses, and deities. Mystic truths are being revealed. And you have insights and knowledge into these mystic truths. These mystic truths are a part of you. So dive deep to get to know. It's a time for you to get to know. 
It's a time for you to awaken. It's a time for you to just really fully come into yourself. Your starseed origin, mission, past life, memories, and just the connectivity to it all. And in June 2023, you will start to really see and things will start being painted. The picture will start being painted. You will, you will start being led and guided. And you will know who you are. At least start to go towards that path of reawakening. Galactic Federation. Mm. So the Galactic Federation wants to emphasize this energy for you star seeds that it's extremely important that you are aware as the gnat went by. It's extremely important for, that you are aware of who you are and your connectivity to it all. What they're emphasizing to me, and I'm going to dive deeper into the um, Star Sea Cosmic update for June 2023. What they're emphasizing is this energy of you coming into yourself and the connectivity of it all. They're saying as you awaken who you are, your star seed origin and mission, you're going to start awakening your past life memories, your star seed memories, your seed, um, cosmic DNA, and really what you're connected to and how everything is connected. A lot of mysteries are being revealed. And this is not just right now in June 2023. As Earth and humanity shifts, and I'm saying the next 20 years or so, we're going to start seeing a lot of things change. The foundation's being built and more things are going to be discovered. Things that people can't explain or they're going to try to cover up. And those answers and really showing us how much of history we got wrong or really what has been intentionally forgotten. Because the magical and the mythical, it's becoming more prominent again. It's reawakening. The extraterrestrials not hiding as much. There's a lot of things coming to light. And it's just a beautiful energy that star seeds are essentially a part of. So... That's beautiful, you know? Be proud, star seeds. Be proud. Okay. So we are at July 2023. And I am... So, okay. I heard you, Ekati. I heard you. Again, we are at July 2023. And um, Hecate is going to be who we channel to start off with the gods, goddesses, and deities. And um, she's basically saying... Yeah, she's saying... It's a magical time. July is going to be full of magical energy. So 1830. So channeled message from Hecate. Hecate. July 2023 is going to be one of the most magical, mythical, and abundant months of the year. Magical portals and gateways opening. Magical energies, magical foundations being built. And really, it's just a realm of magical possibilities. They're really endless. This is going to be a time to work your magic. Throughout July 2023, it's a time for you to work your magic, to be magical, to be mythical, to learn a new craft, and to really just utilize spell works and rituals. It's a peak energy of the summer and of the year and the seasons. It's a time where you can do a lot of magical things that can lead to positive outcomes. A very powerful time for setting intentions and manifesting and receiving. So work your magic throughout July 2023. Be magical, be unapologetic. And really realize what you can do. Because I emphasize that a lot of portals are opening up. And these portals are going to help you tap into magical energy. There are natural portals throughout the world. To connect into mythical creatures, to the natural elements, to the nature spirits, to certain gods, goddesses, and deities. They're going to be aiding and shifting as you ascend to a new height when it comes to your craft. July 2023 is a magical time. Utilize it. Hmm. That's a beautiful energy, to be honest with you. I feel lighter when I channel that because the other energies are a little bit more heavier. But that energy that I channeled is like the sun shining and stars going off. And she's showing me somebody really like doing spell work and ritual work and like 
mixing concoctions, herbs, utilizing this period of time and a bird just went by my window to really tap into the magic and the energy that's there. July 2023 is going to be very breakthrough filled. And if, you, if you're utilizing your magic, you can really set the intentions and bring things to life. And I was reminded when I said that, my finger, my finger, my finger, that hurt so effing bad. I forgot my finger was hurt. Ooh, it's cut deep, y'all. That hurt. That hurt so much. But what I was going to say is, ooh, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. Because I cut my finger bad. It's really, really bad. And I just hit it like it hit. That hurt. Oof, that hurt. But I guess they didn't want me to repeat this because things are messing with me. What I was going to say is July 2023 is an energy of a lot of manifesta manifestations and intentions being set. But what was reminded to me, and Loki's emphasizing this energy again because I said it in June 2023 energy, is that mid-June is a period where we're going to see a breakthrough and a shift in energy and things are going to start showing in our physical planes for a lot of us spiritual workers that are going to lighten, lighten our loads. So knowing that June, the mid-June is going to have that energy opening up and Loki emphasizing that to me as I was as I'm channeling consciously right now, it's like it's building to July 2023 energy. So mid-June to July is going to be very abundant and lighter energy and a good period for us to work magic to really make the energy work in our favor. 22, 22, now I'm done. Because I restarted. Um, okay. Okay, I guess we're going to focus on the theme of magic. Because I have Rhiannon telling me the same thing. She's like, Rhiannon. In July 2023, make sure you work your magic. Protect your energy. Utilize your craft. And allow it to build. And I say build because there's going to be energies you're building upon. Allow the prosperity to come forward. Allow you to work your magic to make it come to fruition. Set the intentions now towards the end of May or whenever you come across this video. Because a lot of magical things are going to be happening. The connectivity is there. So if you start setting the intentions and knowing what you're building upon at this moment in time, it's going to allow July 2023 to reign in the abundance. Utilize the moon cycles, like the new moon in Leo. Utilize seasonal herbs when you're doing your craft. Work outside in nature, because nature is going to help you. If you can soak in the natural mana as you do spells. See July 2023 as a changing of tides. And with extra energy and effort with your magic and what you put into it, you'll see a lot come back to you. You deserve the positive things that July 2023 will bring. So make sure you utilize the energy because a lot of you have been going through hardships, struggles, and strifes. And July 2023 is a period where you're reigning in abundance and prosperity. A lot of good things in your life. So keep that mentality and work your magic, Rhiannon. Oh, that was a beautiful energy. Um, okay, I hear you. I hear you. I'm just going to give myself a second. So what I was being told, and this is a beautiful, beautiful energy by Rhiannon. She was like... Basically, oh, I did not mean to do that. She was basically saying that there's this energy that you need to be aware of when it comes to utilizing your magic, tapping into the natural energy of the world, of nature, to help you. So connecting with the natural herbs. She's saying seasonal herbs or seasonal things that you can utilize will be very beneficial to you. And she's saying that the cycle that's coming into July 2023 is, is essential for you to know that things are shifting. 
and the energy is shifting so beautifully, so magically that it's like, it's a beautiful, 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 beautiful time. Um, yeah, it's, it's a time. Well, actually she wants me to emphasize before I go on to Lil Lilith. Um, she's emphasizing that this period of July, 2023 is like a peak of positive energy and really a period where you can work your magic and set the intentions right now to utilize your magic to really have things come to fruition. Rhiannon's like, it's been a very heavy year. It's been a very heavy time. And a lot of us are going through a lot and we've been getting a lot of attacks. She's saying, utilize July 2023 to set the intentions right now to build upon the energy and allow yourself to really make magic work in your behalf. Um, she's like, this is July 2023 is what I'm being told is like a peak period for magical energies and manifestations that we need to be utilizing so that we can be in a better space and place because the energy is heavy. It's like July 2023 is when I'm being told it's a gift to us. That's a beautiful, magical gift that we need to be utilizing because one, we deserve the gift, but two, it's basically like here, light workers, spiritual workers, we know you've been going through heavy things. Here's your break in energy, basically. But now I have Lilith. And she's saying, oh, this is beautiful. Lilith. Embrace the darkness. Embrace your shadow. In July 2023, you need to be in this darker energy to fully encompass what you're meant to do. Because you're getting this beautiful positivity and this beautiful blessings throughout this month. It's a really positive month for the spiritual workers, light workers. It's a period of breakthroughs and a lot of things coming to light in a positive way. But if you don't embrace the darker aspects and the shadow aspects, you'll repeat a cycle in history that you don't need to repeat. And it also allows you to encompass all of you so that you can know what you're working towards. Integrate all aspects of yourself for that, for you to be at a good place and so that you are fully and truly in your light. You have to be fully and truly in your light to do what you need to do. And right now being in your light is being in your darker aspects. You have been struggling and going through things and you are having this period of relief, a sense of relief in July, 2023. Know that you deserve it. But in that same energy, Remember why you went through what you went through. So learn the lessons. If people left you high and dry when you're doing well, don't go back and tend to them. Don't repeat a cycle that you don't need to. Lilith. Hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. So, I'm, I'm trying to like, I'm thinking about what she's, what she said and she's telling me what she said. So Lilith is saying this energy of, yeah, okay, that's what you want me to um, say. You were going through darkness. You need to embrace that darkness and that shadow side of yourself and fully integrate who you are and what you're meant to do. Realize the lessons you learned and why you ended up in the place you're in, you ended up and do the healing work and the necessary work so that you don't repeat the history or the cycles. And in that energy, which is essential that you realize it, as you're receiving the beautiful abundance and the prosperity, don't repeat the lessons that the shadow and the dark has illuminated for you 
and still be a light, obviously. And the lessons are maybe you cut off certain people, but now you're doing well, they want to come to you. Or maybe the lesson is that you need to put yourself first, so don't stop putting yourself first. Or maybe the lesson is that you need to be more diligent, so still be diligent even though in your abundance. Or maybe it's just that you can survive anything, so as you are thriving right now, still put up money for a rainy day and don't blow your money and be smart. There's this energy of realizing the lessons that you learned in the darkness and the shadows and integrating it through the energy of your light and as you're receiving it and remembering that you are light no matter what. That's how I want to interpret what she was telling me in that energy. It's like, be aware, be prepared, and take the lessons you learned that you realized that you reflected on in that shadow and dark period as you've been going through things. Yeah, and that's a beautiful energy, to be honest with you. She's basically telling you, be prepared for the positive things you receive and you're receiving in July and take those lessons that you had learned and as you've been working on yourself up until July as you've been going through the hardships the struggles the darker and the shadowy times and implement them as the light comes in as you ground your light again um so now I'm switching to the archangels and we have archangel Gabriel Gabriel be creative throughout July if you know you're a creative, an artist, a musician, whatever you define yourself as and whatever way you create, create. Because this is the time of breakthroughs. So you never know what you create and what it will lead to in the future. So create. Allow your inspiration, your muse to find you in July. It's a creative time. It's a divinely inspired time. It's a time where what you may create in July may lead to long-term stability and success. For some of you, it could lead to a breakthrough and viral moments and helping you get to the next step. But whatever you're creating, this foundational thing that you're gonna do in July is needed. So create in July. Hmm. So Archangel Gabriel is saying this energy of create in July. He's saying there's something foundational you'll create that's either going to help you with a breakthrough in the intermediate or you'll start creating something or building a foundation of something you're creating in July 2023, because this is 2023. That is going to help you in the long term and it's really what you need in your life. So it's beautiful energy. It makes me happy to think about it. And I'm looking forward to your breakthrough, to be honest with you. You deserve it. We all deserve to be to get a breakthrough in life. Because it's hard. Life can be hard. Um. <laughs> so what I'm being told right now is that there's a new sense of loving energy. That's coming into your life. And honestly a passion that's being sparked again. Sorry. Had to, my other incident went out because I've been recording over an hour now. Um. And in that energy, we have Archangel Raphael. And he's basically saying the love and the passion is coming back into your life. And he wants you to know that. And he's like, you deserve this. You deserve the love and the passion coming back. And the love and the passion coming back is uh, an accomplishment, to say the least. Archangel Raphael, as you are having your breakthroughs and the magical manifestations and the positive energy come back into your life in July 2023. There are sparks of creativity. There are sparks of love and the passion is coming back. Allow yourself to be passionate again. Allow yourself to be filled with loving energy again. And don't allow yourself to be dim. Even in hard times, it's important for you to be in a loving energy of gratitude and appreciation and allow yourself to still be passionate. But July 2023 is when that creative spark and that passionate spark and the loving energy comes back to you. For many of you, you start to love life again. You start to feel the energy be lifted. You start to just feel more joyous. And that's a beautiful energy for you. You deserve this energy. You deserve the positive energies. 
So allow yourself to be full of love again, of creativity, of passion. And allow love to be a guiding light because everything needs love. Hard times, good times, sad times, great times, love should be a foundation in truth. So be in your loving energy and allow the passion to come back. But again, you need to be mindful and to never let it leave. Archangel Raphael. So Archangel Raphael is emphasizing this beautiful energy for you of the love and passion coming back, coming back, but you really not needing to ever let it leave. It's a beautiful energy, to be honest with you. But it's well-deserved. I want you to know it's well-deserved. Okay, um... Okay, it's funny because I don't channel Ezekiel too much, even though I connect with him quite a bit, to be honest with you. But we have Archangel Ezekiel, which is um, whew, an Archangel related to prophecy and insights. Archangel Ezekiel. July 2023 will be a time of illumination. It will be filled of visions. So many visionaries, prophets, seers, people with a gift, gift of foretelling will be getting a lot of very key things that they're meant to know. It's also a period where a lot of things that you have been seeing related to your own personal energy will start taking light and be illuminated. So pay attention to your visions, to your dreams, to your insights, to your revelations. And start pinpointing what they mean. Keep a journal of what you see, what you get as visions, what you're envisioning. Keep two separate ones to be precise. One for your personal life and one for the world and what's going on. It's a well-deserved time of prophecy. Especially as you're going to be a little bit past the midpoint. So you're going to be getting a lot of visions about the ending world's energy. And not the world's in energy ending, but like the ending of this year. And you're beginning visions of 2024 and 2025. And a little bit past that, things you're meant to know and you're meant to see. It's a time of visions. Visions that you're meant to create. Visions of the world and visions of just what earth and humanity is going through. So pay attention to what you see and allow yourself to imagine and envision. Ezekiel. Ooh, I got very lighter. And this is more, it was more of a lighter of like a boom, energy like a calm. Ezekiel is saying, allow yourself to see. Okay, so now we have the Galactic Federation. Galactic Federation. July 2023 will be an insightful month. So star seeds pay attention. This will be an ideal time to travel in between different realms for those of you who astral travel, who may shamanic journey, or who may just visit that. Well, technically it's astral travel in the Akashic Records. There's something important about what you will get to know during this time. It has a lot to do with mythical creatures, the world's energy, the nature of spirits, demonic energies, demon energies, and just the spiritual world and the different planes. 
But diving deeper than that, it's also a time where you will be feeling and seeing and sensing more spirits around you. So you'll be communicated to more. Be aware of this because not all will be good. Things will try to lack, latch on to you as your gifts heighten and allow you to see. So utilize discernment and protect yourself. Know who you can trust because there will also be a rise of false prophets and false prophecies. But you are the truth, so get to know the truths and know who you can trust. But that takes due diligence on your part. You have to be due diligent. Due, due diligence is important. As a lot of this positive energy is taking root and shape, it will allow many other star seeds to see more clearly. So you'll get unclouded vision. The smoke will clear. A lot of truths will be revealed throughout this month and pretty much throughout the rest of the year. Galactic Federation. Hmm. So the Galactic Federation is emphasizing to me that it's extremely important that you are aware that um, it's a very insightful period of time in July 2023. And when I say very insightful, they're like, you're getting a lot of insights, traveling between realms, getting information between realms. And also there's a lot of truths being revealed and a lot of things that are becoming more clear. There's a lot of smoke clearing and a lot of things being illuminated. And they want to emphasize that false prophet energy that they've been telling me about. As the gnat goes by again, Um, I've been channeling a lot about this false prophet energy and um, basically there's a rise in false prophets, especially as people tap into their magic, their gifts and abilities and the Galactic Federation isn't happy about it, but there's obviously divine intervention happening to illuminate truth. So, yeah. Um, now, I'm going on to... Okay, we're at 0153, I think. That could be off because I'm in two different videos now, but around there. So we're going into August 2023. And huh, what I was just told right now as I sipped my water was August 2023 will be a trying time for the collectives. For earth and humanity and what i'm being told is you're going to see a lot of things that are um trying so what i heard was the word catalyst so there's going to be a lot of catalysts and sudden change and shaking ups happening throughout august 2023 and basically it's like you're going to see a lot of sudden change and shifts they're showing me like a bomb, so it could be actual bombs, but it's something that's like a bomb going off. It could be symbolic too. Aphrodite. In August, 2023, the world will need love. Loving energy will be essential to give love because there will be mourning. So you have to be in a loving energy. The world will have to be in a loving energy. There will be a lot of things that go off, that shift the ties that make the energy more low vibrational and make the energy more intense and make people weep and feel more scarce. So love will be needed. Loving energy will be needed. You will need to be giving unconditional love to your neighbors to the world, to people you don't know, and just sending positive energy to places, especially the earth, because the earth will be taking massive hits that are man-made throughout this time. 
the theme for August 2023 will be loving energy. Loving energy sent, needed, given, and really needs to be shared. It's intense emotional time, Aphrodite. So Aphrodite is emphasizing me, to me this energy that it's an intense emotional time in, in August 2023. She's showing me this energy of really the world needing love and people having to share and give love and really the energy of love being essential. And that would be, that would explain a lot about what I channeled in June 20, not June, well, kind of June, but July 2023, which was that we need to enjoy the energy. I could have swore I said something like that of, of July 23, 2023 and that breakthrough and the building of it because it's like a gift. I'm positive that Rhiannon had me emphasize the energy of July 2023 being like a gift and one of the, being the most one of the most powerful manifestations and magical months throughout the year because this year is a year of chaos and it's very heavy and intense. So shifted right after into August 2023, to be honest, Rhiannon. Um, yeah. Yeah. I can't really say anything else other than that because uh, oh shit oh I'm sorry for guessing I try not to what I was being told is August 2023 will be a peak of disasters like it's a peak of disasters. And what I was just told right now before I started channeling, which I'm going to go into Loki next because Loki just said, let me say some things too. But they just told me, and who my body's shaking to confirm this, is it's the peak of the disasters, the chaotic energy. And what I've been channeling a lot and getting down with a lot of is like 2023 is leading up to 2024. So we're going to see a peak in August. We're going to see the energy is probably going into September. But we're going to see the shifts and the changes that are going to basically, a lot of things that are going to go down that are going to build upon 2024 and really the foundations and the systems because it's a systematic year that are going to be changing and going into place. Oh, that doesn't make me happy though. Loki, welcome to the peak of the chaotic energy that will basically lead to the systematic energies and things that are going to be in the forefront for 2024. August 2023 will be, be and bring the chaotic change. It will be intense. And a lot of it's going to be man-made. But there will be also natural things that happen for divine intervention too. Welcome to chaotic energy. So thrive in it. Do your part. Send loving energy. Be a healer. Be a light worker. Share what's going on. And don't be silenced. Because a lot of things will try to be silenced. Because there will be a lot of things going on that people should be paying attention to. I'll give you a little bit of a glimpse. August and November will be a peak of energies that will lead to systematic things that will be forefront topics that happen for 2024. And there will also be periods and things that will lead to 2025 and the shift, the energies that humanity seems like is going to repeat. So breathe. So be ready for the chaotic change. And really, you're going to have to bring the advocacy to bring the change, to shift the cycles. Because right now, humanity is going towards repeating history. And you don't want that. Because right now, the gods, goddesses, and deities are divine intervening on a minimal scale, being very impactful. But once 2025 happens and you repeat history, it will be more intense. Loki. Oh gosh, low key, low key, low key. You know what's so interesting about that? So I channel and I get a lot of information. And I say that we have 
until 2025 to break free of a cycle or repeat it. And the way it's been going is that Earth and humanity seems like seems like it's going to repeat the energy in history. And if we do, we're going to see a lot of really, really bad things. I got I got visions of it. Um, the energy can still shift and change, but a lot of negative forces are really feeding into people's egos in a negative way, which is causing chaotic energy. Um, in a nice way of me saying it, to be honest with you. Okay, you don't want to come through. Okay, I, I, I'll do that, but that's not right now. Um, huh. Okay. Sorry, I was liking this energy where I was tapping into several gods, goddesses, and deities. And they were all telling me little tidbits. But Hades is who one who wanted to come through. So I'm gonna drink some water real quick. Hades. August 2023 will be the peak darkness of Earth and humanity throughout 2023. Like Loki said, November 2023 will be also very dark, but August will be more. You will see a lot of the darker things from governments and ruling bodies and systems come out in August 2023, which will cause an uproar peak chaotic energy that will cause an uproar which will cause a lot of people to feel scarce to riot to feel intense and very sad the type of energy that darker energies and forces the negative ones feed into it's intentional you will see lots of chaotic disroar disruptions and uproar and one of the things we told Dejanae when she was getting ready to channel this is that it's going to be seem like disorganized chaos, but it's all intentional organized chaos. And what she would say is a confirmation burp. And you're going to really see that in August 2023. It's heavy. So heavy, in fact, that um, it's going to be sad. The morning energy, people feeling defeated, people going to feel hopeless, but you are here to raise hope, to be a light and a beacon, to help other people. So you are happy, you're going to have to ground yourself, to find your light in the darkness, to not let what's going on in your personal life affect you from being aligned with your purpose and shining your light. Because that will be an intense issue that will come to a peak because it always does. So ground yourself. Look at the bigger picture. See from a different perspective. Get a higher view. Hades. So what Hades is emphasizing to me, and this energy is very intense, y'all, is that it's going to be extremely important for us and I say us, including myself, because I, I, I am me, um, to be at a place in a space where we are okay with being a light in the dark. We already should have been at that place, but what he's emphasizing is that the darkness is going to be at a peak and the heaviness, the energy, we, we will be picking up on that energy. Because if you're connected to earth, you do. If you're an empath, you do. If you're an intuitive, you do. And that sadness, that sorrow, the despair is going to be there. And what Hades is telling me in this energy is that it's going to be peak chaotic energy. 
And he's saying that the way we will be spiritually attacked and going through spiritual warfare is something's going to want us to be in despair with the collective. So we, we're going to have to ground our energy and not pick up on the energy and try to be consumed by that. But a big way will be that something's going to try to make us feel not together, not composed, 1555 now on the time and basically not full of hope or optimism so basically in our physical lives in our personal lives what we personally are going through something's going to try to make us feel in despair too on top of the world's energy and we are going to have to ground that Whew. yeah okay i heard you anubis i heard you so i have anubis now I'm going to write his, his name. Anubis. In August 2023, many people will be taking a trip to the underworld, emphasizing the loss of lives in the thousands. So there's going to be despair. People are going to feel hurt. People are going to feel betrayed. People are going to blame the gods like they always do. But this is going to be human made error. Human made things. This is going to be an energy where it's gonna be the gray and the dark with very little light. And people are gonna feel sad. They're gonna be hurt. You cannot be consumed by that energy because if you get consumed by that energy, you won't be sharing what you're meant to share, creating what you're meant to create and doing what you're meant to do. So you will have to be very grounded and mindful in July, 2023. Well, in August 2023, too. Mm. Oh. Oh. That makes sense. So, I'm connecting dots right now because I channel a lot and I don't write any of this down. I'm just channeling. But... What Anubis just showed me and he told me was, I'm pretty sure the Galactic Federation pointed this out and I think somebody else may have pointed this out. You're gonna be getting a lot of insights and visions um, in July, 2023 about the world's energy and what's going on. So when you start getting these insights and you're seeing these things that are gonna be happening in August, 2023, He's emphasizing the need to be grounded. And then when you're actually experiencing the energy in August, 2023, you're gonna to have to be at a place where you're not affected by it, even though you knew what was gonna happen and you're actually experiencing it. You're seeing it on the physical planes. And Anubis is like, don't be surprised by your own visions and insights. Don't be surprised, it was 5911, so 911, by the emergency, the the seriousness of what's going on. He's like, why are you acting surprised? You shouldn't act surprised because the reality is the reality and the truth is the truth. And the truth is we're in this very intense period of time. Things are happening and you have to live through it. People are living through it. We are living through it. Um, so yeah, he's combining the energies of you, what you're seeing in July for many of you will be happening in August for some of the things you see and it's gonna be very heavy and intense. Wow, oh, yeah, that, that was a uh, doozers. Okay. Um, so what I'm being told is we came here for this. And I was going to go on to the Archangel parts, but I want to emphasize we came here for this. 
just I'm just gonna tap into this energy real quick. So we came here for this, y'all. And I say this as we are at this period of knowing this. Let's let me explain why we came here for this. One, your soul incarnated here with a mission and a purpose, and you are aligning with that purpose. And in that energy of aligning with that purpose, it's not easy. I'm not going to say it is because I'm going through it. And it's a lot of work, a lot of effort. And it's just emotionally, emotionally a lot. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. But what I'm being told is you are righting a lot of wrongs within earth and humanity. You are literally healing the earth, raising its vibration. You're illuminating truths and you're breaking truths one on one on time, one on one, 23. But it's like I had to record in two separate parts. I had to stop to open the window, the blinds to make it not look so bad. Is we came here for this. So you're writing a lot of injustices and, tr and, and um, fake truths. So something that I've said before is that the magic is reawakening. The different gods, goddesses, and deities are making their presence known in the, in the divine council's energy. Many of us are awakening to our truths, our mysticism, our magic, our gifts, our abilities, who we are as a star seed, mystic, light worker, healer, shaman, whatever you identify as, right? And as we do, we are writing a lot of injustices and like false narratives and truths. And I say this in multiple ways and they want me to tap into this energy to realize why you came here for this. Because one, magic has been taken away from a lot of people colonization and slavery happened all throughout the world and i am to zero one twenty twenty two on the time but i am a descendant of slaves i'm african-american but not just in african-american cultures it's been it happened in um norway to pagans and when it comes to norse culture celtic culture a lot of things happened where people were taken indigenous cultures too because people it's all throughout the world of different race, ethnicities, backgrounds. We're taken from their spiritual beliefs and practices, even their religions, and forced into something else. And that caused the disconnect to the different gods, goddesses, and deities, and to our ancestors, and to who we are. And the divine council, which is the council of gods, goddesses, and deities, is connected to everything. We have ancestors connected to gods, goddesses, and deities. We have star seeds, the galactic federation connected to gods, goddesses, and deities. Archangels, angels are connected to, you know, many different cultures and beliefs. Gods, goddesses, and deities. Spirit guides, gods, goddesses, and deities. Everything ties back to different gods, goddesses, and deities. Source, what people, you know, that energy, the divine council. And 0133. So we came here for this. Consciously, a lot of people are waking up. A lot of people are waking up. They're connecting to their magic. They're connecting to their ancestors. They're connecting to different gods, goddesses, and deities, and who they are. A lot of us are connecting to past life memories, to our to the Galactic Federation, to our star seed origin, aligning with our mission, mission, and tapping into our gifts and our, and our abilities. So we came here for this. There's the reason why we came at this period in time. There's a reason why we incarnated here at this period in time. It's because we're meant to be here and we're helping with earth and humanity. <clears throat> oh, my voice just went out. And I get attacked by my voice, by the way. And I had no issue speaking today. That's how you know I'm meant to say this because something's trying to get me not to say it. We came here for this. And what I was saying is we came here during this period of earth and humanity shifting and everything that's going on within earth and humanity, the heaviness, the seriousness, because it's literally what we're meant to do. Earth and humanity is shifting right now. The magic is reawakening. People are connecting back to the magic and to the magic within the universe. That's part of my purpose, by the way, helping people do that. But diving deeper into that. Oh, my body just shook. What the Galactic Federation and the, the different gods, goddesses, and deities and our ancestors is we're writing and balancing out scales because our magic was taken away from us. So people stopped practicing magic. People were fearful of practicing their gifts and abilities because they could die, literally. And they were colonized. And that also caused a disconnection to many gods, goddesses, and deities, to our ancestors, and, you know, 
a lot of things. But the magic is reawakening. And the Galactic Federation said this, I think, in either June or July's energy. And I think may, I've said this, I know I've said this several times before, but as we are connecting more into ourselves and our gifts and abilities, things that people deem to be myths, because the different gods, goddesses, and deities are not myths, there are truths in most religions, are starting to become the forefront of conversations and topics. 0155, 01555, on the, on the time. It's changing because they're making their presence more known again. Very importantly, and I want to emphasize this, the things that we deem to be myths, the history that was taken away from us, the things that people don't believe to be true are going to be rediscovered. Many of them are going to be rediscovered. Magical, mythical things are being rediscovered. Truths are being illuminated. And a lot of things are basically coming to the forefront intentionally as the magic reawakens. In the next 20 years, we're going to have so many discoveries that happen and occur. It's literally going to be groundbreaking. It's a shift and that's intentional push from the gods, goddesses, and deities as the smoke from my incense decided to really make its presence known. Because we're balancing out scales. Like a huge part of my purpose is helping people tap back into the magic of the magic within the universe, but I'm also gonna discover things and make it known and there's no secrets or hiding. And a lot of other people have purposes that are similar. We might cross paths and do magical things together, who knows? But that is why we came here for this. That's because Earth and humanity is shifting. The magic is reawakening. People are tapping back into the magic and connecting to the different divine beings they are connected to. ETs, extraterrestrials are not hiding as much. The Galactic Federation is making their presence known. The different gods, goddesses known. The different gods, goddesses, and deities are making their presence known. There's a very prominent energy. If you're paying attention and you're woke, you're going to be waking up. And they're going to have us do a lot of things that really illuminates and shines light in magical ways. Examples of this simply is how magic and everything is connected. Magic connects to science, to math, to history, to philosophy, to um, psychology. And we're going to start seeing people make groundbreaking discoveries and connectivities that people can't deny anymore and saying magic is a, I'm not trying to drop my teeth, myth. And that's intentional because I'm going to be one of those people and there's other people. And you may be one too that's going to help that happen. That's why we came here for this. We have divine purposes. Oh, that got intense. That was a beautiful message though. So yeah, they wanted me to emphasize that because we are balancing out the scales. That's why we came here for this. People are collectively waking up. People are collectively connecting back to their ancestors, to the different gods, goddesses, and deities, to the Galactic Federation as star seeds to archangels, to their magic, to spirit guides, to so many different things. That's intentional. We came here for this. That's the energy I wanted to emphasize for that. Um, <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> so now I'm going on to the archangel message. You know what's so interesting? Gabriel came through for all three parts. Gabriel, in August 2023, there will be a lot of things in the media and a lot of things that will go unnoticed or will not get as much mainstream media attention that are sad and heartening. But you cannot ignore what is going on. Share. Be an ally, bring awareness, because it's meant to be. It's an energy of there's a lot of things that are meant to be that will be shown and that should be known. From you getting visions of what's going on beforehand, many of you. From it's just being heavy and intense and people picking up on it. It's a very, very serious energy that people have to just pay attention to and be conscious of. So communicate a share and express. The media will be an essential piece, confirmation, burp, and Dejanay's word of what's going on in August 2023. So pay attention and be aware. 
So Archangel Gabriel is emphasizing that media will be probably one of the most essential pieces in August 2023 to bring to show awareness and bring awareness of what's going on because it's going to be able to give paint the picture and let people see it. And not only in the sense that things are going to go viral, but there's going to be a lot of things that may not even be as mainstream that people need to pay attention to. So sharing, sharing and bringing, bringing awareness is going to be extreme, extremely, extremely essential. <laughs> um, yeah, Gabriel's like, yeah. Um... Ooh, that was heavy. Okay. Okay, okay. Ooh. So interesting because Trying to keep somewhat of an accurate time, but since I split, split the video up into two different parts, it makes it more difficult because I don't know if I'm correct, but it's somewhere around there. So I have a channel message from Archangel Raphael. Raphael. Know that love can go a long way. Know that truths should be shared. No matter how hard that truth may be. And in August 2023, there's going to be some hard truths that people need to swallow and deal with. And loving energy that, are, that is going to be need to be sent to people, communities all throughout the world and to the earth as a whole. This is a time to face the hard truths. What people may consider cynical truths and the heavier energies. It's a time where people need to face reality and see what's going on. And there will be a lot of attention to the chaotic energies and situations that are going on. It will show how dire the world's energy is. And there will be many topics of discussion that will come up and pictures that will be painted. It will be an intense emotional month where love is needed and truths will be revealed. So focus on giving love and bringing awareness to those truths. Raphael. So Archangel Raphael His energy, when I channeled that, was more so of love, but like a cold, not a cold, like heartbroken love, like a very stern, uh, putting an oomph behind it, love, loving energy. He's basically like, this is going to be a very emotional time, a sad time, but one where love is needed and awareness has to be shared. Ooh, that was intense. So, in that energy, we have the Galactic Federation. Galactic Federation. Are you aware of what's going on within the world, within the energy, within the cycles? So for many people, because that's a rhetorical question, for many people, they choose to turn a blind eye. The level of divine intervention, the level of how we will be working, to bring awareness of what's going on to things that usually will be ignored in August 2023 
it's gonna be like a light, a flashlight shining brightly. So that people who choose to turn a blind eye will be forced to see. People will see the heaviness of the world's energy in August, 2023. They will be directly impacted by their own countries and countries throughout the world and maybe their own cities and states. Peak chaotic energy where people are gonna be able to see and have to become aware and basically, if they have somewhat of a heart, we'll have to care. It's serious, heavy energy that a lot of people may not be able to stomach. But it's needed nonetheless because the Earth's vibration has to raise. Humans need to do better. And really, you have to stop repeating history. Because even though there's divine intervention going on in multiple layers during this month, a lot of the things that are occurring are human-made things that are intentional, that we are to, to intentionally utilizing divine intervention to illuminate and shed light onto Galactic Federation. So the Galactic Federation is emphasizing to me the energy of we are illuminating. People need to watch and pay attention because a lot of the times people won't pay attention to what's not directly impacting them. And that says a lot because just because something's not directly impacting you doesn't mean it's not important for you to pay attention to them as my body is shaking. So they're like, well, if you don't want to care about other people, or be loving towards other people, or you're so consumed on consumed with what's going on within your life, well, we're going to make sure you see. We're going to make sure you're aware. We're going to make sure you care. Because things may impact you or eventually affect you. And it's going to feel like it's close to home. As the smoke came into the, to emphasize. And, um, I got a little sad when I said that, but it's like, I've said this before and I will repeat this. The only th way that things are going to change is if Earth and on Earth and raise the vibration if humans come together. We can't be separate. We have to care about each other to really make a difference and an impact to change the systems and the corruption, the suppression, the oppression, and to raise the vibration. Us not coming together will lead to continued suppression and oppression and will lead to continued negative energy and a repeating of a cycle. And I love history. I'm a history nerd, especially mythology, lore. Something that I've said before and that I've channeled before is that the voids and the blackness and the things that we don't know are going to start coming to be revealed again. And there's a lot of truths in the histories that are myths and lore. But what I'm extremely want to, what I extremely want to emphasize, what I want to emphasize in this, is that they separated people and took away communities. 1911. When I said that, well, 01 1911 on the time. And in that disconnectivity in the communities and lack of communities and made us more reliant on governments, they basically took away our powers of coming together. And now we're relying on the governments and caring less about our neighbors. And that's something that in the divine intervention that the divine council of the Galactic Federation, really spirit, the divine, our spiritual teams want us to change because we have to care and come together about what's going on even if, some, even if or when something doesn't directly impact us. And that's a big energy that they're changing right now and that we're pushing is community, coming back into community and relying less on our governments. Yeah, that's, that's a very truthful statement and that's basically what they want me to um, tell you. Uh -uh. Thank you, amazing people, for watching this video. I'm Shaman Dejane, and I am a representative of the Divine Council, which is the Council of Gods, Goddesses, and Deities. I am an Atlantean starseed, a reincarnated member of the Galactic Federation, 
light worker, earth angel, mystic healer, who is here to raise earth's vibration, uplift humanity, and help people tap back into their magic and the magic within the universe. Reawaken. And I do so with videos like this. I hope this reading, this for the summer 2023 energies channel messages from the divine council resonates. Please check in and confirm with your own spiritual team, with your own intuition and utilize your discernment for the heavy energies that I mentioned in this video, which is pretty long. I know it's at least an hour and 30 minutes, but I think it's like two hours. Um, there's a lot of things going on within earth and humanity. There's a lot of heaviness, there's spiritual warfare, spiritual tests, and that basically we're in a peak energy of chaos because 2023 is a year of chaos as earth and humanity is shifting. And again, I've said this several times before, but I'll repeat this again. 2022 is a year of change. It was a year of change. It was last year. 2023 is a year of chaos, the like year we're currently going through. And I'm channeling these messages on Tuesday, May 30th, 2023. 2024 is a systematic year. Systems are changing and a lot of things are going to come to the forefront. 2025 is the period where we either repeat history or break free of a cycle. And it's basically going to put us into a new cycle in energy. And um, those are all heavy, serious things. But again, earth and humanity is shifting. The magic is reawakening. There's so much going on. And um, we chose to be here and it's a time to be alive and aligned with our purposes. Again, I'm Shaman Dejanay, and I hope you have a great morning, evening, or afternoon. And if you do come to this part and this video did resonate, please give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notification bells, and I hope you have a great morning, evening, or afternoon again. Ashe.